Hello and welcome back. This is a refresher video of how I do a backup onto KeePass from Safe in Cloud Password Manager. Both of these uh, databases are housed in Dropbox, but I also keep a copy on my PC as a backup uh, in addition to that. When I start the backup and making sure everything is up to date on Safe in Cloud Password Manager, I go to Tools click on backup and save the database. I then click on file and export this uh, database as an XML file. These are saved saved in the documents folder of the Safe in Cloud Password Manager as the database and XML. Now that it's up to date, uh, what I do is uh, delete the old backup by selecting all entries as you can see and then selecting all and then deleting them and then clicking yes. So now they've all gone in this recycle bin. Every time you do that in KeyPass you must save it. Then I do tools, database tools and delete empty groups. Click OK database tools delete duplicate just in case there are any save right click on the recycle bin and empty it click OK click there and then save before importing the um, database from safe in cloud make sure you have plugins already if you already got them ignore this part but if you haven't click on plugins and you should have key OTP key one time password uh, passcode um, plugin fave icon downloader and safe in cloud XML importer if you haven't got them click here to get the plugins that link will take you to the keypass website for the plugins and then find the key one time password plugin by scrolling down to this bit here click on that and then you can go to the website to find out about it but download the plugin from there and save it on your PC you click on that and this is the latest zip file I can see so basically save this one this is a link for the fave icon downloader click on that and then you can download it from the website from there. Finally, Safe in Cloud Imp plugin to import your Safe in Cloud XML files. Click on that, and that's the website and the download. So click on that, and then click on the PLGX file. This one, PLGX file. That one. Once you've downloaded the zip files, extract the files and find the plugins labeled keeotp.plugx and the favorite icon one and the safe in cloud one from the downloaded zip file. Copy and paste them into the root folder of the C drive where the program is. So the program, keypass, which is version 2, open that and then this is where the program is and then paste the these three files the one time pass code one fav icon and safe in cloud import uh, plugin uh, you may need admin rights so obviously you uh, run as administrator to, to do that once you've done that if it's the first time you've uh, installed the plugins close the keypass uh, program and open it again and then you should be able to see these three plugins then when you're ready to import after deleting the existing uh, database uh, to make the mirror copy just click on file import and then go down to the saving cloud select that plugin and then find through this folder the, where the exported XML file is which is that one click OK click that and then click open you 
you see that safe in cloud plugin and the path of the f um, import file to be imported and it's done that once you clicked OK save it and then click tools database tools and delete empty groups this is what I do and it finds all the empty ones deletes them do that again and then find duplicate entries just in case there are any click OK usually there aren't any now there's the change click save then I right click and then rearrange by sort direct subgroups which makes it in alphabetical order again there's a change save that once you've done that you'll see this key here which is not the icon for this website and to pull those website icons you click on tools and then click on this uh, to download the fav icons for all the entries which is going to take a little bit of time I'm going to pause the video uh, and then come back to it once it's done that right after it's um, done that you click OK ignore that and you can see the icons appeared because of the chain you need to save this so all the icons have now been uh, downloaded for the respective websites in the entries now as this is uh, housed in um, Dropbox I also synchronize this entry uh, from there to my local PC click on that the file and the file is sitting in my documents folder and I just synchronize that once that's done I just clear this make sure uh, it's only on uh, Dropbox and that's how you go about doing a mirror copy backup of safe in cloud passwords onto KeePass. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is uh, uh, added to the video that I've just made and hopefully it'll come out smoothly uh, about uh, one-time passcodes that you create in safe in cloud uh, to work in KeePass. Where you've got the one-time passcode uh, in Keep uh, Safe in Cloud, copy that code uh, as exactly as it is without any spaces into KeePass uh, uh, by adding another field in Safe in Cloud called KP and pasting the uh, code in there without any spaces. Uh, if there were spaces created when you created the code, uh, then you need to uh, get rid of the blanks so it just shows the numbers so for the key pass field where you got KP add the value KEY equals and then paste the code in there without any spaces you just it should just have numbers or characters that you've copied over from uh, a website where you uh, you created it and make sure this is ticked uh, enable in memory protection if it's not already done so uh, in key pass and what it looks like is you'll see field value hidden and um, uh, uh, as you can see uh, 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 for, for both these entries you can leave them here uh, as you, you if you wish um, or you can delete that if you don't want to use it uh, in keypass but I, I tend to keep it anyway so to make sure it's working in the the one-time passcode is working in the entry that, uh, for that website right click on the entry and then copy the one-time passcode from here uh, or you can look at the string if you want and then if you click here you can see the one-time passcode which gives you 30 seconds to enter that code for that website that you want to enter it to where you created it um, so if it's showing up like that you know it's working and that's how it is uh, for KeePass I uh, hope you like the video thanks for watching and bye for now